I think a good foreman or a good walking boss, I think as you come through the ranks, I believe if you're a good lasher, you know, your work ethic follows you. You know who the boss is without even asking. He just has that aura. There's no same boss. Every boss has a little different type of leadership style. A good dog foreman takes care of his men and watch out for each other. Are you willing to get out there when it's raining or when it's cold and assist when you have new people? Being confident in yourself, having the courage in yourself, being capable of knowing exactly what needs to be done. So when you find someone who respects what they do in the industry, it's going to translate to what they do on the ship. One of my main mentors, he was a very by-the-book type of foreman. He never raised his voice, but you knew he always meant business. He'd get on the radio, make a particular call, this is what I want, and you knew this is what he expected. And when he raised his voice or when he spoke, you listened. I mean, he made a statement. In order for you to lead, you got to have that character of a leader. Being this person on the job that as soon as you walk through that gate, they look at you like, oh, there's, there's one of our bosses. One of the foremans I look up to, he's very reliable. He's been on the docks for over 40 years, and he hasn't changed a bit on how he leads. He's a good man. And I definitely came in at a time where there was a lot of older bosses down here at the time, and, you know, people you look up to. They set the work ethics of how to do this job in a safe, in an efficient manner, and they inspire me to want to become a dog foreman. First of all, you got to show up on the job, set an example, be on time, uh, wear the proper PPE. So how you conduct yourself, how you carry yourself as a boss. How to run the job safe and be efficient. Willing to stand up. To learn the safety code and to learn how to respect people and talk to people. Taking charge of the job, being a boss to instill in the character that we need to keep our industry going safely. You have to show an example first. Before you can be a good leader, you have to be a good follower. One of the most important jobs of a foreman is to make sure that we're doing things safely. You're responsible for everybody around you. If I see a man who's working near me and he's unsafe, I have to bring it to his attention. If I find a man whose faculties may be impaired, I have to get him off that ship before he gets hurt or hurts someone else. If I find a man who's not where he needs to be, I have to correct him and say, you don't, don't stand there, because if you do, you could get hurt. So it's just being responsible for each other. So it's about everybody's safety. It takes courage to speak up and say something. It may not always be popular, but that is the right thing to do. So a lot of times you have to be stern, you have to have courage, you just have to say, hey, this is the way it's gonna be. Courage, it evolves around not just people, but it also evolves around the operation. We have a one year probation period and the employer can send you back. And I was within my one year probation period. The mate was walking and the breast line tightened up with a couple loads and the line snapped. And it ripped this mate's leg, tore it off right below his knee. And my boss came to me and said, hey man, you know, this, this forward crane is where the incident is. I get it, you know, we got an ambulance coming, but can we get those other cranes going? You know, we got to get this ship out. I, I thought of that individual laying there with his leg half off, and I told my boss, I said, you know, we're, we talked about this before you hired me, and that, you know, there's going to be times where we don't agree. And I don't agree right now. I'm not starting those other cranes until we get this man in a basket, get him off, and put him in an ambulance and get him taken care of. You have to do the right thing at all times. And sometimes it's very difficult because, like I say, it goes back to your friends. Those are the ones that always test you. And how you handle your friends determines how much respect you have from the rest of the workforce. It's hard sometimes when you see a friend that maybe you were out with a couple of weeks ago, he's doing something wrong. But as a boss, I mean, my responsibility is to 
make sure he stays safe, not only for him, but for me and others around him. It's just that simple. We can't tolerate not, you know, abiding by the rules. These things are put into place for a reason, and that's to keep you safe and keep the person around you safe. We all have a job to get done. You have to make the, the tough decisions. And taking that courage to step up and, and do it, you know, because my job is to make sure that all the workers that are under me get home. When I became a foreman, I was mentored by some extremely good foremen. They'd been here for years. They knew the job. And before they would even recommend you for a job, you had to prove to them that you could do the job. You have to have that capability and the know-how to get this operation up and running and get it completed, but at the same time to get the job done in a safe manner. I go out, I start the job, I make sure that it's done safely and efficiently. So we need to get that ship in, work it efficiently, and get it out. And when we work in something efficiently, safety is always number one. I've had that where people have approached me and says, hey, this guy, he's landing too hard. I'd have to get on the radio and inform the crane operator or the top picker that he needs to float the boxes. Sometimes we'll have a fairly new individual working a top pick and he's a, a little more aggressive. He's trying to prove that he can do the numbers or whatever and he may come down hard. And so I, what I'll do is I'll immediately go over, stop that operation over there and just go up and talk to that operator and I'll let him know, listen, what we need to do is come down nice and easy on the individuals, okay? We're not worried about Production, production don't mean anything if we have an individual get hurt. We lose production. So what we want to do first is keep it safe and come down easy. If you see something unsafe, you have to let a foreman know. We have to know what's going on so that we can correct the situation. You have to be a communicator, because we have different people from different backgrounds working down here. You have to be able to communicate with everybody that's involved in this operation. It's a team effort that when the team is in place, and everything is working beautifully, production is high. It's a good feeling to know that you get a vessel out or you get a ship out and everybody goes home safe. That's part of my job and I take it to heart. The waterfront is a dangerous environment and a foreman's objective is to make sure that everybody goes home safe because there are sons, daughters, spouses, family, waiting for you at home. Safety's changed a lot in 25 years I've been on the dock, but over 25 years, safety has become a new culture and we understand why we need safety so we can go home. We're responsible for ourselves. We're responsible for getting the job done and getting it done right. That's the ultimate goal. That is why I'm here. I feel that in the role that I'm in, it's a way of giving back to an industry that's been so good to me and my family over the generations. You know, let's get the job done and go home safe.